Hi YouTube, and this is Joe Train 997 and I'm back this time with my review of the DC Universe Classics Wave 11, Figure 3, Dead Man. Now, Dead Man is one of the figures in the line that has a variant, and this actually is the variant, meaning that he has translucent hands and feet. As you can see there, they're kind of disappearing into a clearer plastic. Um, actually, when I picked this guy up, I didn't know that. I thought this was just a standard figure, um, but... It is a very interesting, nice little touch. I mean, they kind of, we've kind of seen this done like in Wave 8 with Gentleman Ghost, and um, it worked fantastically there. Now, this is the comes with the right arm of Kilowog, which is the arm with the ring on its hand. So, of course, a very key part of Kilowog onto the back of the packaging. Of course, the other characters in the Wave, Cat Matui, Kilowog when he's done, Jon Stewart, Question, Cyborg Superman, Steppenwolf, Shark, and Dead Man. Dead Man's little bio bit says... Once a leading high-wire artist for a traveling circus, Boston Brand was felled mid-performance by an assassin's bullet. Impressed by Brand's many acts of kindness during his life, the goddess of balance, Rama Kushina, not sure if I'm saying that right, allowed him to return to Earth as a spirit to find his own killer. After avenging his death, Rama Kushina assigned Dead Man the task of welcoming new souls to the afterlife. From time to time, Dead Man has lent his assistance to living heroes in situations of interdimensional crisis. So his stats, first appearance, Strange Adventures, number 205, 1967, real name, Boston Brand, occupation, agent of Rama Kushnina, Her um, also a hero, base of operations, mobile, special abilities, can possess human bodies for limited duration, able to communicate with spirits, capable of moving between dimensions. So, um, I'm actually, Dead Man has been a key player in Blackest Night, we're getting a Black Lantern Dead Man in um, Wave 5 of Blackest Night. So, I am very much looking forward to this guy. Let's pull him out of packaging. And here we have Dead Man out of packaging. Now let's get a quick 360 this guy. And um, I gotta say right off the bat, I usually save this for the end, but this guy's articulation is amazing. Um, everything has a very extended range of movement. I can't find a single point where he's hindered. Arms do 360. Um, abdomen joint is very nice. I mean, this is just a fantastic job of articulation. Um, only grab I have at all is that when you bend his admin joint down, it kind of covers up the dead man D, but hey, that is not a big deal for the amazing job they did. Um, of course, even the wrist joints move very nicely. So let's get this guy posed really quickly. Of course, um, there we go. Very, very nice job as far as detail. I mean, that face is very nice. Paint's fantastic on his outfit. And of course, as I said with the um, Wave 8 Gentleman Ghost, I really love that translucent plastic effect that makes it just kind of look like he's phasing in or like, I guess, into our world or out of the spectrum or I don't really know what to call it. So, um, very fantastic. I mean, just, I will go on record as saying this is probably the best articulated figure I have ever bought from DC Universe Classics. And I have dealt with almost every figure out of Wave 11 in every previous way, with the exception of Wave 5. And I mean, this guy is just amazing. Um, of course, I actually didn't know all that much about Dead Man, but I've been getting into him... I started getting into him about last year. And now he's a big part of Blackest Night and Blackest Night Batman, so... He's a really, really interesting character, and they've done a phenomenal job on him. Um, once again, something I have to gripe about is DC Universe Classics really needs to work out some sort of flying base so we can have this guy hovering or the Green Lanterns flying. I don't see why they haven't just tried. I mean, even a failed attempt would be better than nothing because a flying base, I could have my Lanterns flying over my display. I could have Dead Man hovering, Hawkman flying. They need to do something like that. But anyways, um, his collecting connect piece, which is Kilowog. Look at that arm. This figure's going to be massive. And... A very, very nicely sculpted ring. Um, it was very tight when I pulled it out of packaging, but it's loosened up quite a bit now. I can't wait to have this guy done. So, um, Dead Man will run you about 15 bucks if you can find him at your local shops. Um, I don't really know what the split is. I looked online and it looks like um, a standard Dead Man will run you about 16 bucks with shipping off eBay, while a translucent hands and feet Dead Man will run you about $20 plus shipping. So I'm guessing the variation isn't that big. There's probably a, maybe a 50-50 split, maybe a little difference. But, um, I don't know, I think both figures would be great. I think the translucent plastic does add a touch, you know, to it. I think it looks a little bit better. 
But this is JTrain 997. This is one of my favorite figures out of the DC Universe Classics line ever. I'm going to give this guy a solid 9.5 out of 10. Very nice figure. Oh, almost forgot. Even though his head is in this little jacket cuff, he can do the th full 360 degrees on his head. So, 9.5 out of 10. Love this guy. Highly recommend him. And I'll see you soon, YouTube.